Hey friends, Tawana here. Hope you're ready for some self-care Sunday fun. Hey friends, this is Tawana B. Smith, your resident self-care coach and host of Everyday Self-Care, where we talk shamelessly about putting our self-care first so that we can show up better for ourselves, our families, and the world. I am inviting you into my kitchen. Since we were all kind of sick last week and we need to make sure that we keep our health going strong through this changing time of the year, I have to keep making my fantastic herbal drinks. So that's what I'm gonna show you today. Let me check my notes. I kind of decided to do this video because I was having a late night conversation with mi amiga Roxana at Voice of Intuition here on Instagram. And she was asking me about my teapot. I actually posted this teapot, picture of this teapot on Facebook and on my Instagram stories. And a lot of people asked me about it. And I like this teapot a lot because it allows me to make tea like in bulk before i got the teapot i was using this little travel infuser and just making you know individual cups of tea so you just put your loose leaf tea and make your cup and i would get like maybe an, a cup and a half out of this i want to say maybe about 12 ounces out of this and my husband would always be like hey can you make me a cup of tea so then i would have to like do that two times which was annoying the other device that i used is my little Bodum teapot, which again, yields maybe two cups of tea. So it was just kind of annoying to try and make tea for two people. So in come my little teapot. The teapot we all crave. I love her, my Talara teapot. So right now, what I'm making today is a is an infusion. And I usually, like once my husband got sick and got diagnosed with, um, with his stomach cancer and going through chemotherapy, you know, you're just deficient in certain vitamins. So one of the things that was really important for me was to make sure that I'm keeping his vitamin C levels up, as well as my youngest son who had leukemia. Um, vitamin C is like really important for cancer patients. So besides taking vitamin c supplements you know you want to make sure that you're just all of us regularly need to make sure we're getting a lot of vitamin c but cancer patients and ex-cancer patients really need to make sure that they are taking vitamin c so one of the herbs that i like for that is rose hip and rose hips is awesome it has more vitamin c than oranges a lot more it's a lot so inside this little diffuser. I don't know if they want to call it diffuser, but no, diffuser is not the right word. But inside <laughs> my little filtration system here, the rose hip. I also have some um, hibiscus flowers, which I mixed with a little bit of like peach tea that I had left over. And then I also have some echinacea in here. So this is the echinacea, echinacea augustifolia root, augustifolia. We learn a new word. That's what that looks like. So it almost looks like twig. That's that first plant material. And then these are my rose hips. And basically what I do with the rose hips is, I mean, it's a, it's a big bag, but so that I can access them, you know, these are what the flowers look like. So I take them and I pretty much, I put them in a smaller plastic bag and I crush them. You can, you know, either do it with your hand like this and crush it, but after a while, flowers are dry. So after a while, it, it kind of hurts. So I put it in a bag and I'll like crush it. And then this is what the rose hips look like. They're really tiny, really small. And rose hips, you'll find rose hips in a lot of um beauty product because rose hips is supposed to be really good in terms of keeping our skin looking young and youth youthful but you can use rose hips like rose hip oil on your skin or you can take it internally so now we are going to actually fill this up with hot water and we are going to make our decoction so basically I, you know, I boiled some water and I'm just gonna go ahead and take that water and pour it, oops, pour it into the little teapot. And on one boil, I can usually get about halfway through there. So what I can do is either fill this up again, boil some more water, or you can actually take this and put it directly onto, I have an electric stove as you can see here and um, let it boil right into the teapot. The pot's not gonna break. 
While I wait for the rest of that, this next batch of water to boil, I'm gonna start preparing the other ingredients into what I'm calling a sangria. You know, this right here you can see is doing its thing. So I'll close that. In the meantime, the other things that I'm gonna put in here, these are just the herbs that I put in there. That's what you see here. I'm gonna put a little bit of citrus in it. So some lemon and some orange. And then I'm gonna use some Manuka honey. I'll put a few tablespoons of the honey in here so that, you know, we're getting the antibiotic and healing properties from the honey also into the tea. So this is gonna be like a powerhouse packed tea that's going to fill this correct. So I'm just gonna take, you know, half a lemon and then I'm gonna put get a little bit of fresh squeezed orange juice in there. I'll just use half an orange. I'm not trying to make it an orange lemonade. Why? Remember, we got the rose hips, so the rose hips has more vitamin C than orange anyway. But this is what our tea starts looking like. This color, it's like a rich red color. It would be more red if I had more hibiscus flowers in it. If I just did a hibiscus flower tea, it would be extremely red, bright red. But because I have more rose hips than anything, that, that's why it's more of this sort of like pale brownish red. So now I will pour that in there. And I have about between the echinacea, the rose hips, and the hibiscus flowers. I've got about six teaspoons of all of those together. So then I'll do like six cups of this. And I'll have this sit in here for about 10 minutes. So now I'm gonna put a little bit of my honey in there. Look how thick that is. Like, you can't even pour this stuff. Oh, slow. Scoop a couple of spoonfuls, tablespoons of honey in there. And after about, once this brews for another seven or eight minutes, then I will pour that in there. And to get the honey off of my spoon, I'll just probably pour a little bit of that onto the spoon so that I'm not wasting any of this. Awesome, expensive honey. So what kind of makes it a little sangria-ish is that I'm taking that fruit, cut up and put a couple of pieces inside uh, with this tea. Putting it in here. You guys know that with sangria, the liquid is red wine and then you add the fruit. Instead of that, we've got our tea herbal infusion. This has been brewing for about 10 minutes and I just go ahead and pour it into this glass carafe. What you didn't see was that honey, thick honey that I put in there earlier. I poured a little bit of this um, hot liquid to start just to loosen the honey up shake it up a little bit and get the honey off of the sides. I will let this sit here on the stove and just let it cool off. And then when it's completely cool, I will take this and then I'll put it in the refrigerator. You wanna make sure that you have a room temperature, glass carafe that you're using. If it's cold, guess what? It's gonna break on you. You don't wanna take this hot and put it in the refrigerator. So you just need to let it come to room temperature. Just let it cool down and then you would put it into the refrigerator. I mean, hey, if you you want to drink this hot you can drink this hot as well it's just gonna be a hot tea but we like to we like to drink it more like an ice cold beverage since I don't really buy juice in my house the only other option that my family has is water I change it up and make sure that I have something healthy this little teapot was able to produce this amount of liquid a full carafe of a tea or herbal infusion whatever it is that you're gonna make Sunday self-care health drink is done for the day this will last us a couple of days because uh, my 15 year old loves it and he's a drinker he's a drinker <laughs> that's how we will start off our week let me know what you think of the recipe if you will try it this is totally not sponsored i'm just letting you guys know for your health all right friends happy sunday see you soon bye